Hey right guys, Trish Munches Joe here, and today we are watching and reacting to episode 7 of Dark Season 3, which is of course the penultimate episode to the entire series. Uh, last episode was a madness, kind of had the two apocalypses going off, uh, and you know, uh, vaporising Martha's baby I guess. <laughs> like that, there's a wild ending and then just Magnus looking up at the end like, oh shit, my sister was right. Um, I've super glued my glasses, so maybe, maybe they'll stay. They kind of slide in a little bit, so I mean we could be in for a for a sad time but um we'll wait and see episode seven guys if you enjoy remember to leave a like if you're new remember to subscribe so i'll be trying to get the finale out uh, in a few hours after this one um, thank you for everyone who's kind of watched the dark reactions it's been a, a lot of fun to do um but yeah let's do this yeah what the fuck am i watching black mirror the idea of parallel universes freaked me out the break in the fourth wall what I'm back here again Great, so we're seeing the life and death. Oh god. Oh. So the difference is, so that's how if he went down on the bunker, it's because Bart stopped her from going in. Gotta be close! Yep. <laughs> in between time. Fuck me up, Doc. Make me lose my mind. 1974. Ooh! 2021. I would not be surprised if this is the world in 2021. It's just normal world. That is what they're hoping for. None of this time travel bullshit. Everyone brought back to life though. I feel like they're not gonna... They can't send like that. 2021. Oh, back to... 1890. Yeah, that wasn't smart, was it, mate? And alles, was daraus entsteht. Yeah, he's turning to Adam, you can slowly see it. Das das Paradies. Him wanting to destroy the origin and stuff, which I guess he did. Two years? <sighs> Two years being stuck in the 18th century, fuck. Where are we going to now? Show me. 2023, mad. Why did they start doing the, the time, the year now? Like, why this episode? I've never done that before, apart from my like early season one, where it was, you needed to know what year it was. Yeah, and then the day after that, and the day after that. Oh shit. Uh, okay, but we're not going to be doing this, Jonas. You know the intro? It actually shows a lot of things that have happened through these episodes, but you don't really realise it. Like the hands on the cage with Martha imprisoned, and him tying the knot. Could be like to do with the whole untying. This endless loop. Yo, are you mad? Are you mad? What? What the shit? Mad. Oh! He just shot himself. Oh, he's saying he can't do it. Like he literally can't kill himself. Yep. <laughs> Mad. That's kind of like Lost as well, where um, oh, well, so encouraged to try to shoot himself and it wouldn't let him. I was gonna say when he was hanging himself, I was like, that wouldn't even make sense because it just. It's not how it went. <laughs> oh, Nineteen oh four. Jesus. We're just going everywhere today. What are you gonna name him? Tell us, Jonas Junior. Oh, that's Noah. Ah, okay. He's a different name. We don't know him as Hanno. I know this. Uh, they've mentioned that before, but I just know him as Noah. So Bart's Noah's dad. <laughs> but, <laughs> Jesus. He's made quite the contraption. Oh, he's... Wow, it's taken him his entire life. His entire life. Yo, we're going literally, we're going like years from the last episode, like literally. It's kind of showing, this is now the transition episode from like where we see the kids to when they become the adults without us really seeing a lot of it. It's just going through the years. It's like, you get the idea. Like Jonas is now, Jonas here, still doing the same thing he's been doing for however many years. It was like 20 years now. Oh, yeah. And I in mine. Mad. That's still me and that and stuff. Mein älteres ich. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, mad. Jesus. Run and use your teleport. <laughs> Bang, you're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Yup. Jesus. Characters are just flopping like in the second half of the season. I mean, we don't know much about Otherworld her, to be fair, but like. It's just the fact they've skipped over so many years, but you just, you don't even need to really see it because it's done such a good job of piecing everything that you know they did during those years anyway. It's like, you, you just know it in your own head. So, and this is what I mean by like this being the kind of show that like, going back over, I feel like I love it even more. Like I enjoy this show, I really do, but I feel like I'll fall in love with it just going back from season one, two and three. And I feel like I will actually do that because it's such a short show, really. Um, this would be a show I'll definitely go back through. I want to actually go back through this. Because plenty of shows I'm like, oh, it'd be nice to go back through that at some point, but I'm not that fussed. Whereas this, it's like, you have to. <laughs> Let's see, old Bart. You're mad. Is that the same actor? The casting's too good. It's not. It's definitely not the same actor. It's like a glimpse of a second. I was like, wait, what? Where? Mad. So that's her. <laughs> uh, that's why that. Elizabeth still having the most tricky storyline. I kept saying Charlotte, by the way, when I, I think of another episode called me out on it. Was, and I've been saying Charlotte, I've meant Elizabeth. Mad. Mad just stealing the kid. That's... The passage wird sich that's brutal. That's mad. Like, she would have gone back to steal her own baby, but, like, she would have had it stolen from her at some point. So she feels like she's just going... Back to steal her own kid. Like it's her child, but it's technically not. <laughs> like she's gonna walk uh she's gonna walk in here and be like, the kid's gone. Mad. Fuck that. <laughs> no, this ain't it, this ain't it. Are you gonna kiss or thought he was for a second, leaning in for a kiss. Jesus, how has he built that? I mean like I said, it took him his entire life, but Fair play, mate. Trying to get his family back. Oh, mad. 19... 11. To be fair, like, Bart and this lot are living the good life compared to the apocalypse, so I won't be too mad. Oh, she had a kid. Oh, and it's his fucking... <laughs> it's his wife! <laughs> oh, just... So Hannah's his godmother? <laughs> okay. No. I, 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 I'm not going to think about it. No, step, not God. Step, step. How did he get to Adam, though? Like, I wonder what happened to... I love how this is basically her son. How did his face get like that, though? Oh, he always, like, young still. It's like young Adam. Is that just from all the times he blasted himself with electricity? Because we got like him zapping his arm, I'm assuming that's like, it's just... Yeah, she's your sister and your best mate's gonna... Well, not really your best mate anymore, he's gonna marry her in the future and do it well. The music's so good. It's not all your fault, this is joint of everyone. Damn, we get to see early Adam. Again, like, I said you could see it a few years back of like him slowly turning to Adam, but... No offence, Adam, but if I woke up to you in the night with Thunder and Adam, I'd probably die of shock, I'm not gonna lie. Like him looming over you. Oh, God. I thought he was gonna... Fuck's sake. Kind of shut me up a bit. Oh, my God. Surely we should be happy Hannah's dying. Jesus. That's how it ends for Hannah. Her own son killed her. There's a lot of like your own family members killing you in there, or your own version of you killing you. But he's gonna kill her next. He's gonna kill the kid. Oh fuck! Jonas man. Hey. <laughs> Oh, look how shook they both are. Everyone's got to go through it. No, don't worry. 
everyone goes through it. <laughs> it kind of... Like, looking at season one thinking no was the villain. Like, you kind of like, feel bad for him, though. Like, just... This is what Sam on the path is not where he died. This was Sam um, from what we know from seasons one and two, but we know he dies here. Yeah, how many times he told him that? That's bullshit. That's how he got set on his path through seasons one and two. And that's how he was. That's how this Noah was set on his pad. Or oh, not Noah, Jonah, sorry. This is just showing, this is such a great episode, like, it's showing everything we came to know of them from season one, how they got to that point now. I know that's very clear, but it's, it's interesting seeing them leave to go do, like, Noah and Jonas leaving to go do what we, um, saw them do <laughs> in seasons one or two, you know. Yep, she's ripped out of the pages. There you go, she's gonna get killed because of that. <laughs> Montage time? Yup, you know it is time for a montage. <laughs> Season one, but... Oh, no and Bar, like, these two just have, like... Like, I remember watching this and I was just like, the fuck's this got to do it? Like, first time. Oh, dude, the storytelling is just... This is the benefit of sticking to three seasons, knowing what you're going to do, keeping the same director and writers on, and just knowing this is what we're doing. Insane. These scenes mean so much more now. Yeah. His own sister. All that to hear. Adam coming to kill her. That's mad. Yeah, it's all in full, full circle. That's how it's gone through it all. And he just walks on off. Noah dying is just sad now. And they've been in this cycle for however long, like over and over again, I guess. Jeez, is that? It's not gonna land there. We've got nine minutes left. Well, a lot of that's gonna be credits. <sighs> Fair play, dog. Fair play. He just how they give certain scenes much more meaning. So much more meaning now, like yeah. I felt like we were waiting for an episode like this where it all kind of did come. That endless loop that they're always on about. Oh. Yeah, I thought she was going to do the eye cut. At first I was like, oh, she's going to cut her own hand, but when she said bear the same scars, getting that slash down your eye. That's how you got the scar, you did it to yourself. Oh, come on. Oh, we're back to the apocalypse. Yeah. Go back. Watching this scene again, great. Killing his own kid in a way as well. Wow, she got like vaporized. I'm glad he's showing emotion to it though. It's like there's still Jonas in there somewhere. It's not like he's completely lost. I'm not saying he's a good guy, but it'd be weird if he was just stood there like watching, like with a smile on his face or something like that. One. He really thought he'd just disappear into oblivion. Hello, Jonas. Fuck off, man. One more episode. One more episode, guys. Let's see what they're gonna do with that. So it didn't work for Adam. Adam's plan didn't work, boom. You got rid of the baby. Or maybe it didn't. Maybe it's like something else happened there. We shall see. Um, yeah, this was an incredible episode. This was maybe... I felt like the last three episodes have just been insane. and gotten better and better as the last three have kind of gone on. For me, this was like a 10 out of 10, like simply because it just went over everything. Because everything we've seen in seasons one and two is like a small part of everything that these characters have been through, really, because there's like 33 or 66 years in between that that we don't really see, but this episode kind of just gave you a brief overview of that. And like I said, the purpose of seasons one and two, a lot of it is to for you to picture what happens in those 33 and, 60, uh, 33 and 66 years. Um, so you can just, you know what's happened, like with, with Jonas, him transitioning into Adam and how he got these scars, it was just him playing around with this electricity for years and like even in the apocalypse in both of the worlds, you can just, you know what happened within those years and you slowly see these characters change into the characters that we've known in seasons one, two, which is weird and that's why this, I guess, season's been marketed as, as uh, 
the end. No, what did they market it as? It's like going back to the beginning. Of, I don't know what the exact quote was on the poster, but basically saying that we're getting to the beginning of the show now because it feels like, well, we are at the end of the show, but in many ways we're seeing what happened at the start of the show or even before the show started, like uh, when the characters were setting off on their paths, like Noah and Jonas. I love that part. It was just cool to see it, like, and seeing certain puzzle pieces. Like, while this didn't give us every answer, I felt like it answered the most that Dark's ever done in the sense of you kind of have a full picture now. Um, I still don't. There's still plenty that I need to go back over when I rewatch these seasons, of course. You do have a full picture of kind of where these characters' journeys have been and that kind of infinite symbol. You kind of have the path now from both lines, as I mentioned, like, you have the line of if... Uh, Martha went to save Jonas or if Martha just kind of left him to go in the bunker you like have both uh, timelines now so yep incredible storytelling uh, loved it I'm going to go a 10 out of 10 for this episode absolutely just I don't again don't know what they're going to do in the finale I don't know how they can wrap this up neatly I'm so, I'm so intrigued I'm so intrigued of course I'm going to jump into it straight away so thanks for watching guys leave a like enjoy let me know the episode down below in the comments and I'll be getting the finale out at some point today I don't know when but I'm going to watch it now I should probably up upload episode 6. I've not uploaded episode 6 yet. I've just been uh, watching these episodes. So yeah, I'm going to upload episode 6 and then jump into the finale. But I'll see you then, guys. Take care. Peace.